Vice President Harris, my name is Christy Shamblin. My daughter-in-law, Sergeant Nicole Leanne G, was killed in the Afghanistan exit at Abbey Gate on August 26, 2021. This year for the third year anniversary of her murder, we welcome President Donald J. Trump to Arlington to lay a wreath on the tomb of the unknown soldier with our family and to visit Nicole Graveside. President Trump and his team were respectful. They listened to our stories and didn't talk much at all. We welcomed them that day and they were comfort to our family. Vice President Harris, I ask you, why won't you return a call and explain to us how you call my daughter-in-law's death a success? Vice President Harris, why will you not express your condolences yourself? Why have we never heard from you? And finally, why would you take a day where we celebrated the death of our loved one and use it to disparage not only them, but us? President Trump has called, President Trump shows up, and President T Trump takes the time to hear our loved one's stories. Why won't you do the same? Vice President Harris, my name is Jim McCollum. I am the Gold Star Father of United States Marine Corps Lance Corporal Riley McCollum. Killed in Afghanistan, August 26, 2021. Your recent remarks related to Trump's visit to Arlington are filled with nothing but lies and deceit. How do you sleep at night knowing it was you, this administration, you and Biden, you being the last one in the room, are responsible for the death of our 13 kids? You have failed for three years and eight months to acknowledge our kids, to acknowledge me. You don't know me. You've never spoken to me. You've never reached out to me. You have failed in your duties as vice president. You have been nothing but disrespectful to, uh, to me and the families of the 13, yet you're claiming that you will always be respectful and show respect for our fallen. You've been absent for three years and eight months. You've proven that you're not capable to do the job that you have, let alone the job that you seek. You know nothing about honor, courage, commitment, respect, that President Trump does. President Trump has been there for us. He's been a rock for us. He showed compassion for us, and he showed he truly cares for the families that truly do know what the ultimate sacrifice really is. You have the day you deserve. Vice President Harris, my name is Steve Nakui. I'm the father of Lance Corporal Kareem M. Nakui. And your administration killed my son. Deliberately in exchange for political theatrics so you could have a final day of the evacuation coincide with September 11th. Ignoring the vice of your generals, the Doha Agreement, and countless other veterans and members of Congress. Denying the safety of the Afghans and the servicemen and women. Your choice to play politics in 2021 killed 170 Afghans, 13 U.S. service members, and wounded 45 of our service members, as well as countless Afghans. You are not at Dover for the dignified transfer. At no time have you reached out to me to offer your condolences, to offer thank you for Kareem's sacrifice and service. Not once have you honored him by saying his name, so I said it for you. You have disparaged all 13 who have lost their lives as well as their families, exhibiting your lack of gratitude by your silence. I agree with you on one thing, that a person like you should never and will never stand behind the seal of presidency. You are a DEI vice president. And contrary to our kids, the worst that America has to offer. I will pray for you that God has mercy on your soul. Good afternoon. My name is Herman Lopez. I'm a Gold Star father. My son, Corporal Hunter Lopez, was a U.S. Marine killed in action on August 26, 2021. This message is intended for Vice President Kamala Harris. I'm not a person who usually takes to social media, but earlier today, your post regarding the incident at Arlington National Cemetery 
was brought to my attention. After reading it, it caused a reaction with me. You indicated in your post that you support the military and military families. I, for one, have not seen that support. It's been three years since my son was killed in action, and myself, my family, and other Gold Star families have not seen any support from you or your administration. You may make hollow promises about the economy or anything else you would like to make promises about, but one thing that I ask of you, and the reason I'm making this message, is for you to stop making comments about your support for the military. As a Gold Star father, I know that you have not supported us. I know that you have not supported other Gold Star families. Please stop making these types of comments because that support has not been demonstrated. Your words are hollow and empty. My other request is that for the American public to know that these messages, these promises from Kamala Harris, especially in regard to supporting the military and our military families are false and baseless. They have not been proven and she has not earned our respect. Thank you very much. My name is Coro Dulero. I am Corporal Humberto Sanchez's mother. This is my statement of what happened on August 26, 2024. My son is not buried in Arlington, but I really feel like my, when President Trump went and paid tribute and uh, paid his respect in Arlington for our kids, it was not just the ones buried in there. It was for all of our kids, and it was an invitation that the families actually extend to him, and and it's not the first time that he actually like meet with us and share time and um, with our families. After three years until now, like Kamala Harris and President Biden didn't even say their 13 names. They called the withdrawal in Afghanistan a success. And for us, it was just sadness and a disgrace. They are the responsible persons of murdering our kids. And until these days, they did not give us a meeting. They did not accept to meet with us and give us an explanation of what happened. Being him the commander in chief, he definitely left our kids behind and just to fill the agenda of his um his prior prior commitments. Um, I invite Kamala Harris and, and Joe Biden to accept the meeting with us and meet with us and explain us what was the whole deal be behind uh, the withdrawal in Afghanistan. I think that as a parents, we deserve a explanation and we deserve the truth of what happened with our kids that day. This is Mark Schmitz, Gold Star father of Marine Lance Corporal Jared Schmitz. Here we are on a beautiful holiday weekend day. I got to stop what I'm doing, spending time with what's left of my family to address a heinous, vile and disgusting post put out by Kamala Harris. trying to incite those that don't follow the truth that President Trump was in Arlington as a political stunt. Shows you how much you know about the 13 families. We invited him to be there. Groundwork was put into place by Congressman Issa's office to make sure we followed protocol. Why did we want Trump there? It wasn't to help his political campaign. We wanted a leader. That explains why you and Joe didn't get a call. Imagine for a second that your kid is killed and there's a president of the United States willing to take you under his wing and listen to you. That's what we found in President Trump. Certainly not you, and certainly not Joe Biden. You have 13 families who have been waiting over three years to so much as get a phone call, to so much as hear our kids' names said aloud in the halls of Congress, at the State of the Union, hell, anything. The irony behind your post 
that you give a rat's ass about our military or our veterans? Jared's brothers and sisters in arms, the rest of the 12, their brothers and sisters in arms, is an outright lie. We're living proof of that. You're despicable. You have zero business running this country. And I pray to God, Americans wake the hell up and get your ass out of office. You have spit in our face for the last fucking time.